It's a great day for Blood Bowl. Coach DDS here in Game 3. Uh, currently, I'm one win, one loss in this season, and I am desperately needing to win. If I want to take the title out, basically, uh, this win was going to go a long way. This is an extremely good elf side with uh, this character right here, Viola. Very well known in SWL circles. I'm sure you can understand what a stat freak that is. They also have an agility 5 thrower, so there's... Um, uh, one hell of an elf team and a very good coach. Uh, for my side, starring is Ubi as normal. Uh, at this stage, strength for agility for block, dodge, sure hands, um, and stand firm. I have uh, some decent black hawks. I've got two lots of diving tackle. I've got another agility for um, blitzer. And I have two very good sweepers here with tackle and wrestle and uh, tackle, diving tackle, um, uh, block. Uh, this is about my peak uh, of elf. Um, beating up my side is, is is by nature of the guard stand firm. Just it just seemed to and diving tackle just seemed to naturally gravitate towards doing quite well against elves, and so I'm very much hoping for a win here. So, uh, Railsite one decided to receive. Um, does what a lot of good elf coaches do. What I recommend all these half decent elf coaches do, which is um, not try to score in two turns, uh, because. Uh, you know, most orc coaches will try and ha if it's one nil, one nil, one one at half time, and the orcs are then receiving in the second half. That's what you want. That's um, uh, gives a chance to win two one. It's very difficult to defend against elves, and so what uh, Relzai is going to try and do is run the clock off, score on the third or fourth turn, uh, which will give the orcs a hell of a lot less time. Uh, now, uh, most of these, uh, this is the last turn of the game. Nevertheless, uh, so last turn of, turn of the. Uh, last action of the turn. Nevertheless, uh, it's a failed um, dodge thanks to my diving tackle um, and I uh, make sure that I put a lot of tackle uh, on the dodges. I put some diving tackle uh, where it's in, where I think it might be important. Um, I, I'm, I'm pressing uh, them. I'm, I'm not going all out trying to get that ball carrier. It's going to be a very difficult ball carrier to get down but I'm keeping the advantage. I'm there now. I'm quite fortunate in that I uh, got two players off. I knocked out one just then. I badly hurt one. I used their spare apothecary on it. Um, so uh, I've got a few uh, a man, man advantage. And I'm sap sapping up re-rolls from the occasional two plus failed dodge roll. Um, now, this will really help to break this game. Uh, just as uh, Relzider decided to run the, the, the elves downfield, obviously, and, and make that pass. I'm um, probably a bit concerned, really, that two were off, and he's got two stuns. He rolled a one here for the dodge. I uh, had to use a re-roll, and then rolled one there, and the first three rolls of their turn managed uh, two ones. Now, uh, obviously quite a big deal for me. I can now hit this ball carrier. I'm quite far away. It's going to take a lot of go for us. Not only that, as established, <laughs> this is a strength four um, block dodger, so it is going to be hard for me to get them down. I do have a tackler within range. I'm either going to need a couple of assists, which will be a couple of go-for-its. I've got one go-for-it there. I've got two go-for-its there for a total of three. I then blot for my fourth go-for-it. I haven't failed a two plus. Um, so I'm, I'm getting the dice here, and I'm very fortunate to get that um, uh, player down. Now, what I really wanted with that, especially that mighty blow, was to break the armor. If Viola's stunned, I'm backing myself here. Didn't get the stun, but... Uh, another two go for it, none of which fail, including that um, that dodge, although I do have dodge and I doesn't have tackle. I get the ball, so a lot of two pluses made then for me. Uh, it was a risky play, but t uh, A, I need to win this game. I don't want to draw a need to win if I want to take the title, and B, uh, it's very hard to defend against elves. You take your chances. Uh, really, the worst case scenario is that they sap up even more time before scoring. But... Uh, they got a two die um, hit against my strength four block dodger uh, without tackle. Um, used a re-roll but was unable to get him down. Uh, from there I'm going to score pretty happy. Uh, one nil up and I scored on the defensive. And that is uh, that play, that drive, um, set me up quite well. Now this is an interesting one. one uh, now the emphasis is really on um, Relizite, my uh, opposition elf coach. Needs to score. Uh, and even then, it's going to be 1-0, and I'm going to receive the ball, so it's not ideal. So they form up a cage. He's, he's, he, I don't love the way he's um, quite happy to leave his player in front of mine, but he's, he's strength four with block and dodge, so I guess he's quite used to 
um, absorbing some hits, and I just don't even bother trying to throw it. It's going to be two die against, okay, you know, you need two sixes. But it does, I, I think um, it was the right call. Uh, I would never do that because I'm probably not as good a coach as him, and I get sucked into bad habits. And maybe that's what happened here, maybe not. But essentially, I mark him with only tackler, no diving tackle. Uh, and he knows he needs to get that player down, which he does. Uh, but, have stand firm, so we're still there. Now, um, you know, what, what, what's the scenario here? I've got a lot of dodges for him to go through. He can probably make a whole bunch of two pluses and, and get through without that leap. It's a little harder. So they go for the two-die block to push him off, which uh, fails in that it's a loner with no block. Um, no re-rolls left, and that player is um, now down, and I have, without need, I can stand up and blitz, two dice I choose with tackle. I need to use the re-roll, but I do, and I get it down, and I manage to stun Viola. So his plans kind of come unstuck here. Um, look, th there was a lot of pressure on him, um, but he, he wasn't making the pass, he was going for the drive. Um, he, he's prob I'd probably say, at this point in time anyway, he was the best uh, elf um, coach and it was the best elf side and may still be that way I'm not in Prem anymore I've started a new side but um, so I'm not going to doubt anything that he did but certainly having uh, without me needing to chase down the pass and then just going for the pass uh, with all that agility 4 and 5 that, that, that would have been what I expected um, but it, I got that hit I'm now going to press forward but um, I've got a strength for agility 4 but he has now a lot of players standing there and he's not going to have much plus he also has a wizard it only needs a couple down really to do a <laughs> to help to really turn this over and get that one one thing that he's craving and much like the uh six two pluses that i that i hit without breaking stride uh the dice just favor me and his, his fireball does not hit anyone um now from there he manages to do a two die uphill block which gets me down but then he's unable to pick the ball up with his loner, which was a 3+. plus. Uh, so, got my player down, but I have a second agility 4 person who's gathered it, um, scattered, and, uh, sorry, sprinted, and scored. Um, so now I'm 2-0 up, and I'm receiving the ball. This game's mine. If I want to stall out the whole thing, he doesn't have any strip ball, it doesn't, uh, or leap. It doesn't really matter if he does, because I've got the strength for agility 4 block dodger, short of a, you know, a blitz or a, a uh, particularly bad thrown rock, which didn't happen. It's my game. Um, now, I can just simply stall in the middle, surround him with guard, and, and wait. I do choose to um, score, and I he kind of backs off because uh, he just wants the ball back and knows that I'm going to score. I do hand it off to a different player. Why did I score? Uh, I really do value practice. I, I think a lot of people get too hung up in winning, uh, but... This is the best elf team at that point in time. With a lot of elf teams, we're in Prem, and I need that practice. Um, it is very difficult to defend against elves. Now, a 3-0, you know, if it's a tie break or something, yeah, I might regret it if he manages to score, but I need that practice. I want to I wanna defend against elves as best I can. I've now got a free. I don't really care if he scores or not. I'm going to try and defend, and um, I just get that free kind of practice, the defense against the best elf coach in the game. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a slow thing of learning what works and what doesn't work. Um, I think I do a pretty good job defending. Um, I, I'm marking him constantly. There's a lot of um, tackle and diving tackle that's marking things uh, or forcing him to do things with players he doesn't like. He once again runs the ball up. Uh, this gives me, uh, with a failed um, uh, diving tackle, I think that was, yep. Uh, he once again... Um, uh, allows me a, a two-die blitz against his um, player with a black orc, but I don't have tackle, uh, and even if I did, it wouldn't have mattered. I couldn't get him down. Uh, from there, um, yeah, I can't do much about it. It's a nail score, and I've won 3-1. Uh, pretty happy about it. So this is DDS signing off, and just remember that guard conquers all.